Good morning, everyone. Hello, my name is Jennifer Waters, and I am part of the CNY Fertility and Healing Arts team here in the Syracuse, New York location. I'm happy to be here today. Today, I want to talk about some uh, common endocrine disruptors, um, all of which I am sure you are familiar with. You may not know the source of them or the repercussions they have in your body. Um, and this includes men as well. I've been doing a lot of research on um, toxins, environmental toxins, plastics, food supply, GMOs, all of that. And it's easy to forget about the men and sperm quality, motility, and morphology. And so absolutely what we're going to talk about today um, is just as relevant for men as it is for women. So um, I'm just going to jump right into the solution in case I miss you at the end. I like to start at the end and go forward. Basically, the solution to all of this is eat organic, especially if you're doing kilts as keto or carnivore. Try your best to get clean, grass-fed, organic meat, dairy, butter, eggs, okay? This is what is making the fat in our body, which is a huge part of our endocrine system. And then you really want to increase your glutathione levels. And you can do that through the patches. I have that linked on my website. I have, if you download the detox guide, there's a, a link in there. There's lots of information on my website, jenniferwaters.net. And you can certainly email me from there. Increasing your glutathione levels is going to help increase your overall fertility. It is a very important antioxidant. It helps to clean up the terrain. I believe strongly in terrain theory, which begins with the emotions. We have to keep working on the psycho-emotional biology. Um, and then the purification practices, our lymphatics, getting rid of um, toxins, heavy metals, all that fun stuff. So that's the end of the story, okay? It comes down to eating clean, using clean products. Anything you put on your body is going into your bloodstream, and this is affecting your very, very sensitive endocrine system. So especially the thyroid, how many women have thyroid imbalances? I think our thyroid is, it's almost like a magnet for heavy metals and viruses possibly and other toxins. It's so easy to have a thyroid imbalance. I don't think it happens overnight. I think it has to accumulate um, with time. But it's a reflection of the rest of your body, your endocrine system. And remember, it is our nervous system that's ruling our endocrine system. So if you're stuck in fight or flight, you're in chronic stress, you can't relax, you can't sleep well, you grind your teeth, you have migraines, headaches, all of that, that is a sign that your nervous system has to come into balance. You have to learn how to manage your nervous system, downregulate. I should have on my YouTube channel what I call the tongue, toes, hum technique, which is something you can do yourself anywhere, anytime, for any length of time to get yourself out of fight or flight into rest and digest, which is the key to the um, endocrine system. April, I don't know what that is. Phenoxethanol. I love these words. There's a couple I'm going to try to pronounce in a minute. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Generally speaking, if you can't pronounce it, beware, okay? So the things that are good for us, generally we can pronounce, not that echinacea and things like that are easy to say, but beware if there's more than two or three syllables, look it up. Um, you know, it is a both and world. Obviously, sometimes we need to take pharmaceutical medications. I do believe that I have had to do that 
um, myself in the past, but generally we want to support the body with natural things. We want to have an endogenous experience, get the body to function better so mm -hmm. it can purify itself. So the glands, the organs are working better. It's not rocket science, folks. It's really not. It is not that hard. It's a preservative and body care products. Yeah, no, 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 no. You don't want that. Get the good stuff. Use coconut oil, use apricot seed oil, sesame oil is really good. If you have dry skin, use sesame oil before you get in the shower, before you get in the bathtub, lube yourself up if you're like me, dry. You want to prevent going into that dehydrated state. So use the good stuff. Um, Arlene, there's lots of opportunities to do that. We would have to do uh, more of a personalized intake for how to support your thyroid in particular. Um, but there's a couple simple products you could start on right away um, that could help bring it into balance. So email me and I'll send you a link. Um, I can put together a protocol, but if you're working with a physician or a naturopath, that that's the best way to go. Cause we, Chinese medicine, it's interesting. There's different causes. So we'd have to look at what is the pattern behind what's causing the imbalance in your thyroid. Is it the liver, the spleen, the kidneys? Is it uh, viral or bacterial assault on the gland? Is it heavy metals? Stuff like that. So there's a lot to look at. Okay, so I'm going to just dive into just, I want to tell you, and this is going to be a blog post, so don't worry. If you're interested in really diving into this information, you can find it on my website. Um, the 12 common endocrine disruptors that lead to um, egg decline and also miscarriage. I'm meeting more and more of you in the clinic that have a history of miscarriage and the good news with that is that we have very good, reliable solutions to bring about change for you on a cellular level. Remember, it comes back to how much energy do your cells have? How well are the mitochondria functioning? We can get them functioning better simply by applying light. Um, this is why I love those phototherapy patches, the stem cell patches, the energy enhancer patches. That coupled with some targeted supplements and looking at your differential diagnosis. Do you have too much heat? Do you have too much stuckness? Um, what is the imbalance that's causing this pattern? So we need to make change. And this is part of why I love Dr. Kills and CNY Fertility. They rarely continue doing the same things over and over, expecting different results. We know what that's the definition of, right? So anyhow, as you know, our bodies are designed to heal themselves, right? This is how we are designed. My last talk on why I'm not a healer is based on this premise because I'm here to instigate you to figure out the solutions that are going to support you to heal and repair. That's about you. You are gathering information. You're gathering knowledge, inspiration, enthusiasm, whatever it is that you need in order to apply the cure to yourself. And that is the good news, folks, is that this is all within the realm of possibility. I have seen miracles occur regularly in the clinic. You know, I hate to only focus on the bad news that our, our food is po polluted and poisoned and our medical system is very erratic and you know, that big pharma, big tech are in control of us and all of this. Um, and all of that's true. But so we need to focus on what we can change, right? Which is ourselves, our thoughts, our feelings. This is how we bring about change in the world. We change ourselves. Start to notice your triggers. How are you responding to things and people? If you're really triggered, you need to work on that. And for me, that is true spiritual practice. It is decreasing our negative emotions and focusing on the things that we can change. 
Also, we have power as consumers. I talk about this all the time. The good news is that we have incredible innovations in healthcare, in technology. There are amazing companies out there doing research that really is altruistic in nature. It is about helping us. It's not just about making money. We all need to make a living. I get that but it's really about what can we do to help you to make the change? Cause we want you healthy, happy. That's how we make the world a better place, right? Cause anybody that's had chronic illness knows that without your health, you can have billions of dollars. I used to say millions, now I say billions. But if you're unhealthy and you've got back pain and migraines and your teeth are falling out, it's, money is not gonna help you. What's going to help you is having good health and a solid uh, emotional state. So, okay. Um, what's happened is over the past couple hundred years, um, very dangerous and unnatural chemicals have been introduced to us because of convenience and affordability. And I would imagine it was in the beginning, people didn't realize that this was literally killing us. But at some point, the facts came out that these products and chemicals in our food and water and soil are literally killing us. And what was done is very little because of profit and corporate greed. So um, many of them are endocrine disruptors. So just like we talked about, your thyroid, um, PCOS is very, very common. They're now calling endometriosis autoimmune. We have to look at why would the body attack itself? This is not a natural state. I believe emotions attack us, right? It's a form of self-hatred, possibly. Um, unresolved trauma or grief or whatever. And then ultimately that couples with toxins, heavy metals and other toxins. And that's what attacks the body. Okay. Your body is your ally. Your body is your host for your spirit. It's not going to just suddenly wake up one day and be like, oh, you know what? I'm done with you. I'm going to attack you because I'm not having as much fun as I had hoped. No, that's not what happens. What happens is toxins accumulate and then they start attacking different organs and glands in the body. And then you're diagnosed with this and put on pharmaceutical medications with no real understanding of causation. So it's something I've looked at for decades. What is behind our symptoms? What is causing this? And we can go through many, many, many layers. And I find it fun. Try to be open-minded and creative when you're trying to understand why you may have a certain condition. And, um, you know, some of the information you're going to resonate with and you're going to have an aha moment and some you're gonna be like, eh, I really don't think so. And that is fine. That is how you become your own healer. You become the master of yourself. So I'm going to go through these 12 toxins really kind of quickly and the solutions. So BPA, bisphenol A from plastic water bottles, huge problem, right? So they're also um, using pla um, plastic food containers, not a good idea. And that thermal receipt paper, if you get the receipts that have been printed on that carbon copy stuff, I guess that has bisphenol A on it. Um, so don't do that. Try to drink out of water, uh, glass water um, bottles if you can. Um, the other one is atrazine is a potent endocrine disruptor most commonly used as an herbicide in the USA. Um, the European Union banned this in 2004, and yet here in the United States of North America, we continue to use it. Why? This is the question we need to ask ourselves. Why has this been banned in the whole European Union, but here in the U.S., they're still using it? So it's basically just on commercially grown corn, macadamia nuts. It's sprayed on our lawns and other places. So back to 
my point in the beginning is go organic. If you're going to eat the skin, buy organic. If you're not, if you're just eating avocados, don't worry about it. Okay, so when in doubt, look to the skin. Um, dioxins is another one. Now, this is um, very connected to sperm quality. And it's a byproduct of industrial processes. So I think it's kind of hard to avoid. Again, it's concentrated mm -hmm. in non-organic animal fats, meat, and dairy. Mm -hmm. So again, back to organic. Mm -hmm. What you buy really matters. If we all pool our purchasing power together, then they will, the supply will increase and the price will come down. So we have to focus mm -hmm. on um, what we can control. Okay, phthalates are another one. This is a hard word to pronounce. It's easy to say once you know how to say it, but it's the one that's spelled P-H-T-H. -H. I mean, who does that? How did they even come up with this word, phthalate? So this is definitely linked to hormonal changes, lowered sperm counts, sperm motility, birth defects in the male reproductive system, obesity, and thyroid irregularities. So this is ubiquitous in plastic food containers. Do not microwave in plastic. Please do not do that. Children's toys, good luck trying to find non-plastic children's toys. But again, we can look for it or go to um, consignment stores or the Salvation Army or wherever and look for gently used older toys because they've already outgassed. Clean them up really good with vinegar or lavender oil or whatever you use as a natural cleaning agent and use the older toys because they no longer outgas. Um, because we're sure at some point they're going in the mouth. So you want it to be as clean as possible. So on and on, some personal care products have the phthalates in there. Anything with fragrance is loaded with phthalates. Do not use it. Please don't. It's been directly linked to um, all kinds of hormonal imbalances and also migraines. It can be a big trigger for migraines. I have patients that come into the clinic if a really mildly um, fragranced candle is burning, they cannot even enter. So it, what happens is the, the, the side effect of doing a lot of purification practices is you do become ultra sensitive to small things. Not that that's the goal, but it is the result often. Um, so there's more, there's perchlorate. Perchlorate is something that is now in contaminated in our water. It affects how our thyroid uptakes iodine, which is interesting. That's a very easy thing to supplement with one drop in your water. The reason I like iodine is that it is antiseptic. So sometimes our thyroid just needs a little mopping up, kind of just a little cleaning and iodine is the thing to do that. Arsenic is another one. It's naturally occurring metal found in the earth's crust um it's poison it can kill you so you have to be careful it is in rice i guess there's less in white rice not that any of you are eating any grains i'm sure you're not but just in case you happen to go out to a chinese restaurant sometime um there's less in white rice, more in brown rice, which I just found out yesterday when I was preparing this, which I think is interesting. Um, so just beware. It's also in mushrooms, I guess. It's found in seafood, also different other grains as well. So when you want to get a good water filter too, you want to make sure that the water that you're drinking, because you're hydrating well, that it is as clean as possible. There are some websites you can go to to really have your city water analyzed to make sure that the filter you're purchasing is going to filter out all of these things. Oh, fire retardants that are in um, 
children's clothing. Oh my gosh, you have to be really careful with that. It's found on furniture, carpeting. This is again why I like to buy things gently used because they've already outgassed. So I'll just tell you a quick story. When my daughter was, she must have been like four, I bought her pajamas for Christmas and I didn't wash them. I just wrapped them and she opened them and she was so excited. She put them on Christmas morning. Within 15 minutes, her whole body broke out in hives. Why? From those flame retardants. She's ultra sensitive Things come out through the skin, which is better. You, no one loves it. Like, you know, they'd rather have ovarian cysts than, you know, all of these things coming out through the skin. But it's better for us to see what's going on in the body than have it go inward and turn into fibroids, cyst tumors, things like that. So I was amazed at like, whoo, they do not want those clothes to catch on fire. And no one, of course we don't, but maybe that's a little extreme. I don't know. Um, you can get a good HEPA filter on your vacuum. There's a lot of uh, dust is full of toxins. And I just read this funny story this morning, actually about vacuuming. You can vacuum your pets <laughs> if your dog isn't scared of the vacuum, you can actually vacuum your dog. Um, that's an aside note, but I thought, oh God, I wish I could do that. That would be great. So glycol ethers, another one, um, very easy to affect sperm quality, motility, morphology. These are often found in pharmaceutical drugs, cosmetic, liquid soaps, got to use natural products, just buy the good stuff. The price is coming down. Some of these companies are really getting behind us and trying to help us. Organophosphate pesticides, we don't want those. I guess those are on um, flea and tick collars. So be careful. Anytime you're touching something, chemicals, put on gloves or immediately wash your hands. We all know how to do that now, right? One to 20 hot water with lots of soap. Um, perfluorinated chemicals, um, definitely, even though these were banned in 2016, a lot of these things like, um, uh, DDT have been banned, but it's going to take a long time and many generations for them to actually be cycled out of our environment and out of our tissue. A lot of this stuff we are born with, folks. We have inherited these things, which is unfortunate, but we can purify it out. Don't worry. We have a lot of solutions in the world of purification practices. It's amazing. Mercury is another one. This is highly concentrated in fish. Swordfish contains the highest level. So if you're going to eat fish, stick with the smaller fish, I guess, salmon, shrimp, sardines. Um, and you can add in things like cilantro and spirulina into your diet if you do eat a lot of fish. Um, those are natural heavy metal chelators. So it kind of balances out. If you happen to like cilantro, just start sprinkling it on everything. And then, of course, lead is the other one that we know. Do not let your children chew on the walls. If you live in an older house, that will be very dangerous. So, um, no, I mean, joking aside, you have to be clear. If you live in an older home, you want to make sure it's been eliminated and that you have replaced the older water pipes. The problem with newer homes, as my friend just explained to me, that it used to be we had copper pipes, which are naturally antibacterial, which is great for our water supply. But now the new housing, everything's plastic. So again, plasticizers are another, getting back to the first one, the bisphenol A um, from plastic. So we have to be careful. So what are the solutions? Increase your glutathione, like I said. Um, decide how you're going to detox. I have lots of solutions. What we can do, sauna therapy is really good. And do, 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 do. Okay, Erica, and I mean, do you have any preference for laundry soap? You know, I like to buy the um, seventh generation if it's on sale. I love that company. I'm a loyalist. 
I like to stick with the companies that have been committed to us since inception, even if it's a little bit more expensive. This is where my money goes. Now we see things like Arm & Hammer and some of these more popular brands are catching on and that's fine. You have to decide where your budget will bring you, right? So I'm a loyalist. I try to buy seventh generation, but if they don't have it or it's that much more expensive, I will buy anything that says free of fragrance, free of everything. Um, I know it's the Europeans are way ahead of us. And that's, we need to really look at that. Um, oh, you switched to seven? Oh, geez. Oh, God. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't read that. Oh, darn. I wish I didn't know that. See, ignorance is bliss, unfortunately. Yeah, it's the problem. These companies come out with the brand. It probably was really clean when it started. And then what happens is cost, price. We stop buying it. The competition increased. So we start buying the competition because it says the same thing. And it's more affordable for us. So it's really tricky business. Um, there are some good websites out there. The Dirty Dozen has a lot. It's more food related. Um, Think Dirty is another one. You can do a list. And all we can do is do our best. And there's a lot of good resources out there. So I have to go. Thank you all for your interest. Please take care of yourselves so that you can take care of others. And I look forward to seeing you in Syracuse if you happen to be coming our way. Norwex. Okay, good to know. Thank you, Ashley.